When the fight between Israel Adesanya and Jan Blachowicz was first announced, I didn't like it. I felt like it was premature for Adesanya to be jumping weight classes in an attempt to become a two-division world champion. Not because I feel like it was too soon for him to be fighting someone like Blachowicz, but because I felt like Adesanya is really something special. And this hurry to claim two UFC titles was jumping the gun in terms of what's the best path to really building up to the star that he can be. I suppose it's just my preference, but my feeling is that GSB and Anderson Silva didn't blossom into the superstars they were by jumping weight classes after a couple title defenses. They stayed put in their respective weight divisions and defended the throne. Even when it seemed like the herd of viable contenders was completely cleaned out, they continued to take on all comers, and as the years of dominating went on, the bigger their legend became. I like the idea of seeing if Adesanya could go down that same road because he has all the qualities to become an all-time great. And being so quick to jump him up for this title fight just felt like it's too soon in his story for this moment. With more title defenses under his belt and the bump in the profile that would come with that, I feel like this fight would be a lot bigger than it feels like now under those circumstances. However, now that it's fight week and the reality of this matchup actually happening has set in, I'm all about it. The idea of having the smaller technical Muay Thai striker moving up in weight to take on this powerhouse from Poland with steel in his hands, I'm starting to get the appeal. I would have liked this clash between two UFC champions to have a bigger feel to the event, but the matchup itself is enough to get fans invested in this fight. Just the contrast between the two styles of these fighters as it pertains to the striking realm is a recipe for a wildly entertaining affair. The last time I checked the odds, Adesanya was a favorite to win, and I agree with that. As strong and as aggressive as Blachowicz is, I envision him biting a lot of the feints that the last style bender likes to throw out there. Although Adesanya is a smaller man, he has the ability and the confidence to pressure forward against a powerhouse like Blachowicz, and if he does that, I believe he's going to have Blachowicz on his heels, constantly moving, and that that's going to take a toll on his conditioning as the fight wears on. I also believe that the knockout power of Blachowicz is going to have Adesanya on very high alert, thus making Adesanya as dangerous as ever. Adesanya is the type of fighter that, when he's backed into a corner, he creates a way out, and Blachowicz most certainly has the ability to put him in a corner at one point or another. The dynamic striking and overall movement of Adesanya is really hard to prepare for, whereas I feel like Jan's style is probably easier to replicate it. So I believe this fight has Adesanya's name all over it. As for the featherweight title fight between Amanda Nunes and Megan Anderson, with all due respect to Anderson, I'm not sure anybody is picking her to win this fight. I don't have to explain to any of you about the fact that this sport is downright insane and absolutely anything can happen. But outside of that, Nunez should be able to get Anderson out there in relatively short order. There is one factor about Anderson that perhaps Nunez hasn't dealt with before. The two-weight champ is usually the bigger weight girl in there when she competes, and that's not going to be the case against Anderson. Anderson is the much taller woman, but really only has a three-inch reach advantage. When it comes to striking, Nunez is one of my favorite fighters to watch in this sport. She's masterful with her distance control, accuracy, and her ability to catch girls right on the very end of her super long and straight down the pipe punches. She flusters everyone on the feet that she touches and Anderson's going to be no different. It also wouldn't shock me if Nunez were to put Anderson on her back and to work for a ground and pound or the submission. Either way, Nunez is coming out of this fight with the victory and relatively unscathed. The fight between Aljamain Sterling and Pyotr Garyan is the fight I'm having the hardest time predicting. Personally, I think that Jan is one of the scariest individuals on the roster, just in the terms of how intimidating of a man he is. Sterling has looked better than ever as of late, and his first round submission victory over Corey Sanhagen has aged very well. The fact that he's able to get a fighter like Sanhagen out of there as quickly as he did and in the fashion he did speaks volumes. This title shot was overdue, and I'm happy to finally see him with the opportunity. But at this juncture, if I had to choose, I think Jan gets it done. He's just too dangerous in all positions. As a striker, he keeps a very high guard, his chin low, and throws serious heat into each punch. His punches aren't only powerful, but super fast as well. And he does a really good job of landing significant damage on ground opponents as well. In my opinion, one of Jan's best qualities is his killer instinct. While he is aggressive in nature, he's efficient, and he knows when to hit the gas hard and when to lay off. But once he sniffs blood, and once he notices just one side of weakness, he goes for the kill and does not stop until he gets it, which is a big part of what makes him so dangerous. While I expect Aldo to give him trouble, I can't help but imagine Jan ultimately hurting the Funkmaster, recognizing it, and finishing the fight in the process. So there you have it. Three title fights and three predictions. I say by the end of Saturday night we're going to have a new light heavyweight champion, and the same women's featherweight and men's bantamweight champion that we had when we came into this thing. What do you guys think? Go ahead and leave your picks in the comments below and enjoy the big fights on Saturday night.